climate change has far-reaching consequences on the poor, marginalized groups and majority who depend on agriculture for their livelihoods and have a lower capacity to adapt. Weather-related crop failures, fishery collapses and livestock deaths, in addition to loss of property, are already causing economic losses and undermining food security in West Africa. This situation is likely to become more desperate and threaten the survival of the majority of poor farmers as global warming continues. But with the introduction of climate smart agriculture, the situation can change in Ghana. One of such places where climate smart agriculture is practiced is B. Bovit. Correspondent in Athalia Kwanza has visited their agroforestry model at Angu in the secondary, Secondita Kade metropolis and reports. Climate change is now a global reality playing out in the world. Climate change, more than anything else, poses as a essential threat not only to humans, but to aquatic and plant life as well. The situation is not different in Ghana as large tracts of vegetations are destroyed in preparing lands for farming purposes. However, there seems to be a model that introduced a paradigm shift that is climate smart agriculture. Its model being championed by the group Bibovid, a social enterprise which operates in the Ahanta West municipality of the Western region. Bibovid operates a social inclusive model of agriculture based on people, plants and profits. And we have so going by that it means that we have three big bag out here that harvest rain. Uh, which means that for us the hundred acres we have here, we can do maize, vegetable, whatever throughout the year. Which is great. And this is some of the technology. So not relying on too much on um, rainwater no once it comes no at least we get some for continuous cultivation. The model promotes diverse land use as an alternative to monoculture and empowers smallholder farmers through capacity building and provision of inputs. This enhances and ensures sustained livelihoods and the conversion of the environment through biodiversity. Isa Wadrago, as Chief Executive Officer for Bibovid. Um, the essence of this whole project is about the things that we're experiencing right now the global um, warming that we're experiencing or what we are calling the climate change and it's affecting all of us and we in this area we are so blessed and the question is what can we do to mitigate it or to prepare ourselves so we don't experience that much like other people are right now we've trained about 2,000 people but we did this particular project with the german climate fund we are targeting extra 4,000 people um, You've, you've seen what you've done, and we hope that with this we can let people understand first hand to see what they can do. Maybe they are not experiencing the full scale of climate change, but at least know what they can do or they should do to protect themselves in case we, we start experiencing them. We all know the global issue about climate change. It started a long time ago. It's never going to leave us. So it's, it's not something you say, I'm doing it for one month, two months. What we are hoping though is that people will see and appreciate it and maybe come to our support so that we expand it and make it, you know, get more or wider audience to, to learn about this issue. True innovation and uses of modern farming methods Bush burning is non existence. No waste of raw materials as the animals being reared on this farm and the plants are interdependent. The animals are fed with some of the produce from the plants and their droppings also serve as manure for plants. Emmanuel Ofori Taiko, District Agric Director, speaks on the effect of climate change on agriculture in the Ahanta West municipality. So in this regard, we are trying to tell them that with the livestock production, they could also uh, make sure that the vegetation under the crops shouldn't be sprayed. But when we spray those vegetations, they, they poison the vegetation. And they also, when the animals go for it, 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 it kills them. Uh, so we are saying that they shouldn't spray those vegetations, rather keep them safe or slash them. Uh, this will keep the temperature in the, in the, in the soil safe for plant growth and for vegetation to also grow. 
Mill Manager S. O. Baini speaks about the benefits of practicing climate smart agriculture. It's mainly for repair works and servicing of the mill. We have the lathe machine, we have the drilling machine, we have the shipping machine and other equipment which actually we use to service the mill. But without a workshop, normally you have to send it to town, which costs so much. When there's a problem, for instance, uh, you have to go to town, you have to do the refilling machine, bring it back, and it might be too late. You cannot uh, uh, stop production as well. And so that all those ones, when we think it could be done here, we do it here. But the major ones, those ones are sent to town, to the bigger workshops for, for it to be done. But we have the special people who are also competent enough to handle everything that is supposed to be done. In a response to a global action to reinforce measures to mitigate the impact of climate change, particularly on agriculture in the western region, Bibovid Tractor, in collaboration with the German embassy, will train and educate a total of 4,000 people, 3,000 farmers, and 1,000 students from 25 communities in the Mpoho and Ahanta West municipalities of the western region. Thank you.